So how do we raise our gain of life? How do we raise our vibration? How do we get to the place of the unknown within us, right? And the way we get there is first, the first stage is to fathom that which is not known in our 3D consciousness. And what is not known is what we are unconscious of, which already exists within us, within us at this level. So at the very, very basic level of saying, one, there is what I know of myself to be. And second is what I really am at the 3D level, at the body consciousness. And then when you experience a spiritual awakening, a profound experience, and when you know, or at least want to know that there is a possibility that I am beyond what I think I know I am and what I actually am at the 3D, we then realize, whoa, I am more than this setup that I believed myself to be. I am a celestial being, right? So as we go through these profound experiences and find ways, get tools, you move from a place of the conditioned mind to the reconditioned mind to the unconditioned existence. In this state, you are light. You are absolutely light. And in this light, you are literally a walking, talking love orb. Now, in that loveness, because you are vibrating at such a high level, the universe starts to open up to you. You can start to see everything. Most of us get stuck in transition, right? We get stuck either at the mind level, right? Or we get stuck at, say, the astral level, which is just one level up. We get stuck and we think, ah, this is it. I've reached. So every time we reach a milestone, we think, wow, this is it. I've arrived. But the beauty about infinity is that it is infinite, right? It is, we cannot finitize infinity at any given juncture of it. So when we've reached a particular stage, you think, ah, oh, wow, I've got it, right? And you'll relate to this because look at how far you've come in your spiritual awakening or your experiences so far and think, wow, during all this time, a few years ago, a few months ago, even a few days ago, how you thought about things, how you felt about things, how you perceived things or how you became aware about things has shifted. We keep shifting and we keep shifting because there's a reason behind all of this, right? And that reason is to simply live in the totality of our existence in the totality of our existence but to get to that existence is to realize that there is a whole existence within us beyond that which we can perceive with our five senses right just because my senses can smell something can taste something right it doesn't mean that what it cannot that we can't perceive yeah and this is the beauty about spiritual awakening that it gives us the grit it gives us the tools it gives us the divine insight what we call divya drishti it gives us the drishti it gives us the vision to be able to fathom the unfathomable but even when we start to fathom the unfathomable, when we are able to now perceive and we have this awareness, right? To bring it down and to put it in words still remains quite difficult, which is why we will find that someone who may have done this and, and has 
encapsulated this into words. When we pick that book up and we read it, it may seem so abstract, right? And so when we go through the awakening and we go into the awakened state, that same literature, that same word, vak, guru vak, guru vani, meaning the word will seem alive and different, right? It will not seem so abstract. So during the spiritual awakening, when your consciousness is raised, right? So we go from a survival mode to thriving and then from thriving, you're no longer seeking to survive, you know, because you, you know that's already guaranteed, you know you're already there. At that higher vibration, the abstract, the unknown, becomes knowable and known to you and in that state you no longer want right you no longer desire right so if there is something that you wanted to procure you have the means to do it everything simply flows it just flows you don't need to make any efforts in your 3d world because it simply flows right and it can and it will continue to flow. Appreciate yourself, right? The journey begins internally. This is a very vast topic, vast journey, right? And remember, the more there is to know about you, the more there is to know about you. It never really stops, right? But do so with a bit of joy, with a bit of love, with a bit of humor you don't have to take yourself though seriously right put in some little 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 pinches of joy in your life sprinkle lots of fairy dust right wherever you go whatever you do just remember just remember your back is covered enough for you to go out there go in here and realize your infinity, live your infinity, and know you are already the totality of your own existence. You already are infinite. So much love, infinite love to you.